So, Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this hangman, and it's with three of wands. Now, the hangman, it, it's showing that you could be at a crossroads. One with only two option type of crossroads. In or out, up or down, yes or no. You may find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. So if this happens, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, a situation, a person, or things. Because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude, or maybe even a wish, that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. Now, it's with the Three of Wands. When this card appears, you could find that your finances are going much better. In fact, this can actually be the month that you're going to feel like your ship has finally come in. So, you're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. You may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work or maybe personally in an extreme positive way, extremely positive way, work or personal, personal life. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, they're appreciated, and they're well, they're well, well respected. So basically the what I'm getting that with this hangman clarified by the Three of Wands for the recent past energy between you and your person is that there was some confusion. Something happened. Maybe your person said something. <clears throat> Maybe something was going on in the connection. Um, something. Maybe, maybe about your person. It caused confusion. It caused you to be just kind of stuck in your head. Should you stay? Should you go? Should you say yes? Should you say no? Now or later, up or down, you just, you were stuck in your head. You were confused. But then things took a turn for the better with this three of wands showing up as a clarifier. Yeah, which is, um... Good. It looks like you made a decision. Maybe you got some clarity. You were no longer stuck in your head. You made a decision. You were looking ahead with expansion and growth with this person. You you made it. The Three of Wands is, is about making a decision. And you're going forward. There's no more trying to figure out anything. Clean cut. You made a decision. And you're going forward. That's the Three of Wands. Yeah, so no more confusion, looking ahead, and you're wanting to expand and grow with your person. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we got this Ten of Cups, and it's with the Four of Wands. The Ten of Cups is beautiful. It's another of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. This card, it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Either, either way, it's a really good card to get in a reading. No matter what your question is. The Ten of Cups, it speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single. To the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, your siblings, your children, your pets, and much more. 
also you could be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups. It's a part of the picture here. Also, there's a yeah, this Ten of Cups, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. It's a good card to see, like I said, regardless of any question. Now, this Ten of Cups is with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands often indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating, so go. You'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well. You'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you. Although this is a very positive card in a reading, it does show a need to keep your wits about you. That although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card, Four of Wands, can sometimes mean that you might be thinking of moving or changing your place of residence. So coming up, Virgo, for you and your person, Ten of Cups clarified by this Four of, four of Wands, which is actually beautiful. Both cards are just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, like I said, your person, they made a decision. They're no longer confused about you, or you're not confused about them. <coughs> yeah, you're, you're, you've made a decision, you're going forward. You see this person as someone that you, you would want the end all be all with. The Ten of Cups is like a dream come true. And they see you as someone that they, they want to be committed to. Yeah, because the Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's 11-11. You see those wands? Um, yeah, the Four of Wands is the card below the word present. The way those two people, they're looking into each, other, into each other's eyes and they're, they're glowing like a highly well-lit Christmas tree. Yeah, so, Virgo, your person, they see you as someone that they want to commit to. Marriage, engagement. Commitment, and you see them like a dream come true. That's so, that's so sweet, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love that. You see them as someone that you could have it all with. Yeah. Okay, so let's get off of that. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. we got the Emperor, and it's with the Seven of Swords. Now, the Emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, it's sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact... He should welcome, well, in fact, the emperor welcomes this, put it that way. And that's what you have to think about when the emperor appears. Because when hard choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and your focus. The emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. And why is that? Why do I say that? Because the emperor is the type of person who could be a boss leader, really arrogant. Um, they only use their head and not their heart. So it's easier to make hard choices. Enjoy the assertiveness. Enjoy the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. Okay, now the Emperor is with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can be about behaving with less than ethical intentions. Now, if you feel like someone is spying on you, 
then you could be right. And if you feel like digging through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to resist the impulse. Because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. So your challenge, Virgo, the Emperor clarified by the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so like I said, you've made a decision. You're going forward. You're looking ahead. You see your person has a dream come true. They see you as someone that, that they want to commit to. But for some reason, with this emperor here, you might find that this person is not opening up. They're not opening up. They're not um, being, being vulnerable. They, they're being like this emperor. The emperor never wants to come across as being vulnerable. So you don't know really what's going on inside. Um, yeah, the emperor does not do emotions really well. Or maybe your person just doesn't feel really comfortable expressing themselves to you yet. But the emperors can be um, known as really cold, showing no emotion. So it looks like you, you don't know, you really don't know where you stand. Because it, I, I hate to say this, but the emperors it, it can be the type, can be, not always. They'd rather have you die wanting to know what's inside of their heart. They just don't do emotions that well. If they're not the emperor, they're just not ready to open up to you yet. It could be that also. So you, you might feel like you have to maybe keep tabs on them by doing some prying, some stalking, some watching when they least expect it. Yeah, so that's the challenge, but you got, you do have someone that um, really wants to be with you, but they just, they may not feel like now is the time to really open up to you. Yeah, so let's move on over, <clears throat> and let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the strength card, and it's with the death card. Now, the strength card, with this one, it's important to take time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you got 19 kids, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Because the outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important, what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. Conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. And as with the death card, keep in mind this death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they're simply not written in stone. This death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no, may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind this transition, it can be very difficult for some people. 
even though the change is nearly always needed. So the outcome Virgo strength card clarified by the death card. Yeah, so it looks like, like I said, your person, they see you as someone they want commitment with. Um, they could be working on themselves, practicing self-love, acceptance, practicing um, unconditional love, practicing self-respect. Yeah, they could be doing a lot of things to build themselves up. Because I'm showing that there's, they got emotions for you. Even though they're not expressing it. And you see this person that you could have it all with. Ten of Cups. Yeah. But it looks like they, they could be trying to build themselves up. To do... Um, things that are good for them, things that they know that uh, make them feel stronger mentally and maybe even physically. It doesn't mean that they don't want you because the Four of Wands is, is big when it comes to love and relationships. It's beautiful. It's 11-11. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's the marriage and commitment card. This person does want you. They want to be with you. They're not expressing themselves now. It doesn't mean that they won't in the future. Or it doesn't mean that they won't soon. So, it looks like with the death card here, maybe you've come to some conclusion. You might feel like you're losing interest. Yeah. Yeah. You might just let it go. For now. Yeah. Let's see what happens for the next reading. Things do change. These are only like weekly readings. I like the present. What's showing the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. I'm getting a good feeling this is not over. I, what does Lenny Crafted say? It ain't over till it's over. So, yeah, good luck with you and your person, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's gonna pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get these readings from me, the roles can actually be switched. You could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So for Black and Never See It Enough, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I'm wishing you all a happy holiday. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.